New Fairway Woods from TaylorMade, the QI-10. The Standard, the Tour, and the Max. We've got Kevin Kraft here to hit some shots. We've got TrackMan ready to give us all the data, and we'll tell you everything that you will need to know about the TaylorMade QI-10 Fairway Woods. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined today by Kevin Kraft here to review the new TaylorMade QI-10 Fairway Woods. Um, yep. These things look fantastic, don't they? They, they are, do. They phenomenal. Yeah. Um, three models here that we can go through today, Kevin. But first of all, what is your, just give me your first impression. When you look at these, you hold them, you look at them, what do you see? There are three very distinct uh, family members yeah. in, this, in this group. Um, I described it as, as Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. Yeah. Uh, this that I'm holding right here, the, the, the Max, is a very large fairway wood. It is. Uh, at Coming in at 200 cc's. Uh, That's a lot. There's there's a lot of fairway wood here. So for people that like a big fairway wood, <laughs> this, yeah. is, this is going to be this is going to be a very good option for you. Yeah. Um, the the standard version uh, comes in a bit smaller and then the tour version comes in a bit smaller still. Uh, but they definitely you put them put all three of them down together and you can yeah. definitely go. OK, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I remember <laughs> seeing a three wood at 200 or more cc. I think this might be one of the first times. Again, I haven't yeah. been in this for super long, but yeah. 200 seems like a lot. It's so big fairway wood. That's that's a large fairway it's wood. Fairway um, wood. We should note uh, the QI-10 fairway woods, kind of headlined by the new Infinity Carbon Crown. Yes. Um, you're saving that weight. Um, it also, if you look at the crown, it looks very clean. I can see Kevin in the reflection there. So <laughs> how's it going? It's good. Um, uh. <laughs> there's three models here and uh, there's kind of a similar, I guess, um, some similar technologies from the past as well, in addition to this new carbon crown. So V-Steel. Um, we got the V-Steel technology. Yep. Um, I remember back when I was young, my dad had V-Steel fairy woods from like 2004, 2005, whatever year that is. Is that, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Why? Okay. Yeah, that was, and I used. I just feel like there was time. a comment on my age in there. That's all. That, that's not what it was intended to be. <laughs> but if you took it that way, that might be a problem. Yeah. Okay. Um, anyway, I used yeah. v those V steels for a long time growing up in my childhood, and so now that technology is back, designed for smooth turf interaction on the fairy woods, and it still works if they're still using it. So what um, is old is new again. The also on the tour. Yes. Fifty gram sliding weight here. Yes. That's a lot of weight. It is around. a lot of weight. So it's, I know that was very successful for players that like to tweak with ball flight a little bit. Yeah. Um, with the Stealth 2, they brought it back here in the QI-10 Tour. Yes, so, it's nice to have that adjustability. Yeah, so we are going to do some testing today, and I'll let you pick the one that you want to hit first. You want to go from... I'll go. I'll Bear? start with Papa Bear. Okay, start see how Bear. See how this goes. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's a lot of fairy wood. It like is you said. a lot of fairy wood. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's yeah. go. Let's do it. <laughs> Kevin, the QI-10 Max, yes. does it look as big as 200cc sounds? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it does. It looks big. Yeah. It looks big. Okay. It looks like a, I mean, it looks like a big old forgiving fairway wood. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I imagine that's what it's going to be. Uh, yeah. That shaft, though. That shaft's a little bit different. Uh, talk to me about that. Yeah. So this is Fujikura's Speeder NX uh with the their new torque control system so very lightweight it's 50 grams yeah um regular flex uh we saw the first swing i made with the hybrid that had this shaft in it kind of went uh that that way yeah it did uh, sure just had did. no idea where the head was so uh i have not swung this yet so if this one goes that way again give me a second i'll figure it out um but uh it's designed to with the lightness, right? One of the things that we've typically seen with really lightweight shafts is uh, higher torque ratings. And Fujikura has found that changing that torque and going to a lower torque in the tip actually is helping people square the club up a little bit better. Okay. So, um, you know, we got a lot of technology in these heads. Technology is changing in shafts too. And that's going to be an area where there's probably still a long way that they can go in terms of, you know, making shafts perform better for people. Yeah. And we're, we're going to see that I think with, with okay. this particular one. Yeah. So um, yeah. I think that's a big, a big helper helping advantage for golfers that might be 
in this swing speed category yeah. eating a, a, a fairy wood. Yeah, like yeah. a big gigantic club head paired with a shaft that is designed to help them square it when yeah. in the past it might not have been necessary. Exactly. Another feature that I absolutely love about this guy, other than the fact that it's glossy finish and it gets all kinds of, of uh, fingerprints, fingerprints on it, on it. Uh, it is the Infinity Crown. Yeah. So we've always had in the past some measure different sizes of different size or colors on or that, colors yeah, yes of, the on, the, on the leading edge right that is now gone yeah this looks so clean mm -hmm. uh from you know the guy that's absolutely crazy on aesthetics this looks really good yeah and even though this is a very big fairway wood the shape is excellent it's a really good clean shape uh i put it down and i like it i like it yeah. i like that you like it yeah I like that you like that I like it. I like that you're ready to swing. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't block it way right. That's a good start. Yeah, that was all right. <clears throat> a little high on the spin. Well, it is a 200cc. It is, but just because it's big doesn't mean it has to have high spin. <laughs> Now that one should spin a lot because that was caught in the heel. See, that's actually lower than the last one. Go figure. Maybe it's just that consistent. Maybe, maybe it is. Maybe that's why it's big. Mm -hmm. That's pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought that was going to turn over a little bit. Well, how's the feel? I know that we can uh, try to separate the feel of the shaft yeah. versus the feel of the club head if yeah. you can. Um, I am struggling a little bit with the shaft just being so lightweight. It's so different than you're used to. It is. Um, think, yeah. But overall, it feels pretty good. It's maybe a touch on the firmer side uh, okay. coming off the face. And maybe that's the auditory response too, because it sounds kind of loud. Yeah. Right. It, there's a, a distinct kind of smack sound yeah. to these, and sound and feel are very much, you know, mm -hmm. linked. Yeah. Right. So it may not necessarily be that the face feels that much firmer, but I'm I'm hearing a a definitely sure. different pitch in the in the sound. So it's not offensive. It's just a little little different. Heel and going left. Okay, I got it right this time when I did this. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's the shot I, did, I like the least in the repertoire. And that's probably the shot I like the most in the repertoire. <laughs> Folks, if well, you, haven't, say, if you haven't, if you haven't noticed that golf is hard yet, just watch me hit some golf shots, and I will expose well, the fact for, that golf is hard. For you know a shaft that doesn't yeah. fit you at all. Yeah, you're hitting the ball pretty well. It's not too bad. I love the way this thing sits up. It just sets really clean. Mm -hmm. You might expect a, you know, the bigger club to sit kind of marginally closed. Sure. Yeah. It sits really pure behind the ball. I'm really sensitive to that too. Go figure. And uh, yeah, this looks really good. It does not look like it's, you know, hook biased at all. That was a little out to the toe, probably going right. Yep. Not that far right though. No, it's still in play. I've seen worse. Yeah, let's hit one more here. See if I can find the, see if I can find the middle of everything. I uh, found the middle of the club face. Did not find the middle of the fairway, though. Oh, yes, I guess I did. Never mind. Okay. No, you I didn't. I thought it was going to... You weren't in the middle. I thought you're... it was going to fall a little more right. No, you're like seven yards off to the right. Okay. That's not bad. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, okay, <laughs> so there's our... That's all the shots. Um, we got a couple left, a couple right, but that's... Again, this is a shaft that does not fit Kevin really at all. Yeah. So we're gonna give him a lot of the benefit of the doubt here I'm gonna take <laughs> just that, that one. one the rest you can keep the rest of them okay. there i don't mind the i don't really mind the ones that go right the okay. one that goes left i just can't stand you want that one removed from your memory uh yeah. yes can you do something with it up here uh, we have ai so oh okay. well that's right you're yeah you're the you're the ai kevin <laughs> that's right uh no we have some shots here to look at some data um mm -hmm. your thoughts on this these numbers here with 
the QI 10 Max for everyone? So overall pretty good. I mean, smash factor is good. Spin rates high. Uh, I'm going to chalk that up to, you know, some of it probably having to do with, with shaft. Yeah. Um, we should also note that the three wood is 16 degrees for this one. Oh yes, it is. Max. So a little, so, yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. it will, will go higher with more spin yes. than the other two will. Yes. Uh, launch angle is good. Landing angle for a fairway wood, you know, it, coming into a green, fantastic. Yeah. Right. If you're hitting it off the tee, it's a little, little. Steep, you're not, you're right? on a kind of a, a soft fairway. That thing yeah. might not roll very much. Yeah. If exactly. So. Exactly. But uh, yeah, overall, that's that's pretty good. What was the what was the average height? Oh, probably plenty high. 103. Yeah, 100, yeah. That's good. That's good. Very good. I, I thought this was good. It's uh, it does have a, a little different sound. It's a little little smackier. Yeah. Sound than uh, which maybe that's sound. that comes with the territory of having a 200 cc. Yeah. Three there's wood, so. a little more room to echo around in there. Right. Yeah. So yeah. All right. It was good. Standard QI 10. Okay. That one. We're back to 15 degrees in the three wood. Okay. How's that one set up for you? Beautifully, just like the other one did. It's just a little smaller. I love this new Infinity, Infinity the crown? top line. Oh god, yes, it's so good. It looks so clean. So clean, yeah. Yeah, like there's, yeah. It is. It just, is a little reminiscent of TSR. How clean it, it is. It it actually is. Yes, mm -hmm. you're right. Um, yeah, really good. Really, really good. So I'm expecting a little less spin. Yep. Probably a little further too, right? Probably go a little further. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd like to see. Also got a shaft that's a little closer to what? Uh, yeah. Yeah. This one here? Not yeah. It's a, it's in the sixes, so it's still a little bit light, but much more, sure. much more where I would normally be. Um, I'm gonna predict. What was my average carry with that? With the first one? Two thirty-two, I believe. Two thirty-two. Okay. I'm gonna say two forty with this. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Step it up two forty. Yep. All right. I like it. Okay. Actually, it's not too far left. That's less left than I thought it was going to be. Although I think just because it's of probably how skinny in the bunker, it is, just probably how skinny in the it is up there. Probably no, you got oh, around no, it. Missed. I got it over the bunker. Okay, cool. That's not that bad, Ben. Okay, it just felt it felt left. There we go. That felt good. Two forty one point eight on the carry. Okay. That was mashed. That might also be mashed left. Yep. Kind of. It's still in play. Yeah, it's still still okay. Still okay. 37.9 carry, uh, I believe. Yeah, you're still in the fairway. Oh, still in the fairway. Beautiful. Mm. Getting that face shut. Really? Yep. Really? Yep. 244.6 carry. Little fat. Yep. Got away with it though. You did. Which you can do on the mats. Might not do quite as well on the turfs. Yeah, that's the one I like. Wow. That's wow. Like. That's also very high in the air too. That's 113. Fantastic. Love that. Oh my. Okay. Wow. Okay. How about the feel? That one versus the Max. Similar. And if you had any different, did you hear anything different in sound? Maybe slightly okay. more muted here than it was with this one, but it still had a bit of smack to it, right? Uh, yeah. What did you hear? I didn't hear much difference either, okay. personally. Yeah. Um, but I'm also not nearly as picky about feel and sound as you are. <laughs> I'm um, not that picky no, no, about I, sound. I don't mean but... that as an insult. No, I no, just no, mean... no, 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 no. It is. It, I am exceptionally picky about the way everything looks. Yeah. Um, sound, you know, as long as it feels good, sound I can I can get around. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know these spin numbers are a little bit more in your yeah. money zone for yeah. you. That's uh, a I think that's a really good spin number for a, for a fairway wood. Yeah. 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 Right under three thousand. Also, yep. you said two forty carry. You're just a little shy. Two thirty nine point eight. Um, <laughs> I did keep every single shot in. That's fine. In that because they that's were all fine. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
What else you got? What, anything else that you see in these numbers? That Smash uh, Factor was down a little bit, which is interesting. Um, we had a one four one that we did keep okay. in there, so okay. maybe that's the difference. Yeah, if but, we throw, um, throw that know. guy out of there. Oh, there's there's my two forty carry. Oh, that's <laughs> what I was behind this whole thing. Okay. And Smash Factor only came up one more one more spot. Spin came up a little tiny bit on that one too. So we kicked out the one that I drop kicked a little bit. Basically, yeah. is is what it was. So um, height wise, overall with this guy. Oh, I should scroll uh, over landing so angle is still pretty good. 96 feet in the air is good. Um, launch angle was actually higher than it was with the max, which is honestly, it was a function of my angle of attack. I did hit down on it just a little bit more with the, oh, with the max yeah. than I did with uh, with this one. Um, the fact that you're pretty cl that close to neutral, though, is with the three woods, that's kind very of much a sweeper. Always yeah. been a sweeper. That's a good thing, though. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, love it. Uh, they're, they're both they're both really good. OK, both really so. Good. QI10 Tour, and for what it's worth, the weight, we're going to keep the weight forward, the 50 gram weight. You got it forward. It's pretty neutral. Is it? Where it's at right now. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I thought that looked like it was forward. Nope, it's neutral. Okay, we'll keep it there then. Okay. All right, now that one I imagine looks much smaller than the last. It, it is. Yeah, Baby Bear looks really good. It looks really super clean. Um, unlike a couple of the other things that we've seen in the past. This is their, you know, their fast swing speed model. Oh, and the, the and it does alignment the, it does logo the is there. Logo. Yep. It's visible. Yep. Not the case on the rescues. Correct. This looks great. Um, Any difference in numbers expected here? Still looking for 240 carry? Yeah, I think we're going to see a little less spin again. Okay. Uh, I'll probably, let's bump it up to 245 carry. Okay. Okay. Oh. Just hung it out there a little bit. Oh. Is that gonna hang out there? Probably. Yeah, just a little bit. 241. <laughs> Getting close to that 245 though. Spin rate's been up though. Yeah. I didn't really expect that much spin. Okay, so this is more of a it's definitely not a draw bias club. It is not a draw bias <laughs> golf club, that's for sure. also be a product of playing a shaft now that's more suited to your swing. yeah yeah this is this is fairly close is that anyway. a thin it was thin yeah interesting that I mean, you didn't really lose you only lost 10 yards thin and maybe thin and heel it's quadrant of death on that one yeah if that is what the quadrant of death is producing then it might not be that bad of a, yeah. of a quadrant yeah. after all quadrant of life support oh we didn't even get it <laughs> quadrant of life support <laughs> yes Get out there. Come on now. There's there we go. Now that's what I'm expecting to see right in there. Oh, that sounded really solid. Ooh, that spin is still staying up. I wonder What's up with my spin, a little bit of a product of just leaning out to the right a little bit. Possibly could be, could still be a shaft head combo here. Yeah. There is a, there's a big difference between the QI-10 and the Stealth 2. Yeah. This feels a whole lot better. Really? I have pretty consistently played tailor-made fairway woods over the last bunch of years. And I had played the original Stealth Titanium and it was awesome. And then when this one came out last year with the adjustable, I was all excited and I just didn't think it felt good. Okay. I thought it felt clunky not responsive, lost all the great feel that made the, the first version so good. This fix that issue. Definitely fix mm -hmm. this that issue. This one feels much, much better. Healy. That's the first fade I've seen all day from you. Well, I'm capable. It is 3 p.m. I am capable. We've been testing and swinging for six hours at least. So that was a Draw path, heel impact induced fade. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, here's the deal. The ball still traveled 237 yeah. in the air, total yeah. 254. Yeah. Still you want to see a fade? I'll give you a fade. I'm, I'm capable of this. Well, I, I thought that you, I don't think you can. There's a fade. And it's 240. Yeah. Still, 241. That's a good golf shot. That's a really good golf shot. Yeah, not too bad. Unless you're trying to hit it up the middle. 
Well, <laughs> hopefully with that fade, you play, you aimed for the fade to happen. You know? Yes, I am. I am way better hitting fades if I have an obstacle to go around. Try, me trying to stand here and hit a fade to land it in the middle, I'm just not very good at it. Yeah, you just. But yeah. you give me a tree to go around, and I got no issues. Hmm. Oh. Should I stand in front of you? I don't suggest that for anybody. <laughs> I've seen too many YouTube videos. Yeah. Ah, there we go. 246, okay. That You're wasn't, still, that wasn't even my best right ball speed. Bit. All right, let's give me one more swing here. Kay. Okay, this might be the one, folks. Ooh. <laughs> Boom, there we go. Two, finally, I hit, I finally hit the shot I wanted to hit. <laughs> there it is. There we go. Goodness gracious. Just okay, got it. Look at just that painting. Just got to function better. That's look all. Look at that painting that we have delivered Man. up there. All right. QI 10 Tour. Yep. Do we want to remove any of these numbers here? Are these all good? <sighs> Yep. Just you, that one. one four, yeah, that's six. that's the only one because it's, it's over four thousand RPM spins. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the only one that really needs to go. The rest, the rest are fair. Okay. Um, yeah, because that ball was hanging out right for the most part. Yeah. This is the one. Obviously, the if I were fitting myself, I'd have flipped the lie angle. See if I can't bring it around oh, a little okay. bit more, and I'd have definitely changed shaft. Yeah, um, I've I've liked Tensai a lot through the years. I don't think for me this head shaft combination works very good, but. Okay. All right. Well, here's all our final numbers from the three fairy woods today. We had stock shafts to test with. Um, anything here jump out at you between with, for these numbers here? Yeah, I'm a little surprised we saw more spin with this sure. than we did with the, the standard QI-10. Um, I came up three yards short of my prediction, so yeah, rats. I mean, you um, clearly were capable of getting it there. With yeah. The last one was 252. So. Yeah. Um, you know, path was fine on everything. You know, there's one other one we can kick out of there. Hold on, go back up. Let's get rid of my 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 big yeah, that uh, right up up right there. Oh, that this was, is that the one my, you hit the big. That was cut. my big sling and yep. sling and fade. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it didn't really change anything. <laughs> well, it, it it did. What it did do is is your path is now more yeah. or less the same with every yes, club. Yes, exactly. That was it was definitely skewed a little bit there. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, it didn't really change my carry yardage. I picked up, uh, yeah, I picked up 0.1 yard, I guess. Um, yeah, landing angle was actually really good with this uh, overall trajectory. Tell me a scroll is what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. 109, okay, so we got a lot of height with this. Yeah. Uh, lots of ability to tune on this one. So yeah, and you, you could even you bring if you that down a higher, little bit. You can move that weight back too. Yes, absolutely. Uh, if I want to throw it slow, uh, lower, I can move it all the way forward. Um, yeah, this was, I think this is a real winner. I think this is, this yeah. has got the feel that I would have, that I was kind of expecting last gen to have. So I think this one's going to be much, much better received. Mm. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it. It's good. I like that you like it. The clean look is just, oh. Yeah, I, mean, it, I think just, they've, I think this is a, uh, it's, it's going to be a big year because of that. I think, yeah. and, you know, I think just a confident, you know, it's, it's all about the confidence that address, right? And yes. You know, I think there's enough of people out there where they've seen the tailor-made stuff and, you know, you can go back to even like the Stealth HD irons. Yeah. It was a similar thing with that where the performance yeah. is there, but depending on what someone likes, they yeah. might not like that look. And so, so even going back into the M series when they had the big white portion up in the yeah. front, right? A lot of people didn't like that. Yeah. And then it got smaller and then it got smaller. Well, and now Sim, it's gone. Sim had that too. Yeah. I mean, Sim. Yes. I have a Sim 2 driver. I got that yeah. white stripe on the front, you know, yeah. and, and I've gotten used to it, but I yeah. I can see exactly why some people might not want that yeah. leading the driver. So. Uh, I just think it's gotten better, 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 and now it's now it's yeah. magnificent. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. fantastic stuff. QI 10, yep. Ferry Woods from Taylor Made. Let's uh, wrap it up in final thoughts here. Sweet. All right, Kevin, testing complete. Yeah. Taylor made QI 10 Ferry Woods. Um, clearly very, very good. I thought you were also, it seemed like you were very impressed by how they look and you know, each one did individually what it was really was supposed to do. Yeah, the whole family of bears was really good. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Um, we started with, let's go through each one. Okay. And I'm gonna go by the names that you initially called them to start. So <laughs> uh, we'll start with Papa Bear, yeah. the QI 10 Max. Yes. Um, the player that's gonna best benefit from playing that club. So. Probably the guy needs just a little bit of help getting the ball airborne. We got an extra degree of loft there. Um, it's very forgiving. Mm -hmm. It's got 
got a big head, right? Right. Uh, 200 cc's is a pretty big head. So, yes. Um, you know, very confidence inspiring. Uh, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have a deep face, so it's designed to promote, you know, it's got the thinner faces, yeah. designed to promote better launch. Um, it's going to be a good, it's going to be a good fairway wood for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think, again, 200 cc is a large fairway wood. Yeah. That's, I can't think of one larger that even comes to mind in terms of club head volume. So yeah. um, there's a lot to play with there for yeah. the, you know, golfer that might need just a little bit of help with the fairway woods. Sure. Um, into the standard model now. The, the QI-10 mm -hmm. fairy wood, the mama bear yep. of the group, if you will. Yep. Um, how about that one? She will fit a lot of people. Yep. Um, pretty standard size looking golf club. Really clean. I cannot speak enough to how clean these things look with this new Infinity Crown. Yeah. So, so good. Um, the acoustics are a little bit different. They, they There's a little snap to them this time. And it's it's a it feels good, feels mm -hmm. very responsive. Uh, just a little change in the acoustic, and that's totally yeah, fine. Yeah. yeah. Lastly, now, QI10 Tour. Yep. Um, you know, it's got the weight in the back still. Yep. Uh, that's going to be adjustable and allow you as a fitter to dial stuff in, plus the yep. adjustable hosel there too. So, yep. um, you know, players that'll best benefit from that one. Now. Yeah. So Baby Bear is going to fit the the faster swing speeds primarily. Uh, Somebody that's looking to drive spin down a little bit. Um, we've got. Like you said, a huge amount of adjustability in here. So it's a it's a multi-use tool that we can use to mm -hmm. you know unlock things in your bag. So uh, I'm looking forward to, to being able to use this one. I didn't like the Stealth 2 titanium uh, from a feel standpoint. This one's totally flipped the script. It looks better. It feels better. Sounds fine. Mm -hmm. Everything's good here. Yeah, I mean, clearly fantastic stuff um, yeah. from the TrackMan numbers. Yep. Um, great feedback from Kevin as well. He got the stamp of approval there from Mr. Kraft. So um, go get fit for your tailor-made QI-10 fairway woods at Second Swing or consult with one of our experts online and we'll get you dialed in for the right QI-10 fairway wood that yep. you need in your bag. So Kevin, thank you so much for Certainly. all of your help today. Um, great stuff. I know the viewers out there are really going to like this. Oh, my pleasure. This is good. Yeah, you are going to like this for sure.